Hey everyone, this is Johnny and welcome to April. Uh, this is this month's travel expenses and income report. I'm in Gran Canary, Spain and I'm half a block, actually not even half a block, I'm like a one minute walk away from the co-working space. So I figured why not do this income report from the beach and show you some of the scenery. It is awesome because it is March, April and it's sunny here. I'm in Europe and I think there's so many people, you know, with photos from back home that are freezing. They're complaining about the weather and then it's cold. And this is possible, everyone. This is really, really cool. And what's really awesome is, as I'll show you in this month's update, it really doesn't cost that much to travel. If anything, I'm, I'm spending way less living on the beach, traveling full time and working online than I would be spending back home. So here we have it. This is this month, travel expenses, income, and kind of life lessons update. Let's do it. So this month I actually started in Kuala Lumpur uh, for the last couple of days. Uh, if you've been reading my blog or following my updates, I was basically traveling with the German girl and we decided to give you know, our, I don't know, I don't want to call it relationship, but our dating, somewhat dating life, uh, a shot before we started traveling again. So we met up in KL, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for two weeks and actually had a great time. Uh, but she went off to go to Vietnam and she's actually motorcycle riding throughout the country. And I went to Sri Lanka, which is uh, a place that we were originally going to go to surf, but she decided to go to Vietnam instead. And, uh, it's been fun. I can't believe it's actually been a month. Uh, we still keep in touch, but I think now we know that we have very separate journeys, so we're doing our own thing. Uh, but Sri Lanka was really amazing. If you guys haven't seen my videos from Sri Lanka, it's a really, really cool country. Uh, I think I have a video of it on my blog, so you can take a look at it. But it's such a beautiful place. The surfing's amazing. It's kind of like being here, but even half the price of Spain and the weather is even better. It's it's a little bit too hot almost. It's plus 35 there, which is like 90 something degrees. But the water is warm. You can go without a wetsuit. Uh, here, the surfing actually right behind me, but you have to have a wetsuit because the water is 19 degrees centigrade, which is, I don't know, like 69 degrees. And it's pretty cold. Uh, I've been snorkeling in it, I've been swimming in it, but it's cold. I wouldn't want to stay in the water for more than 20 minutes. And most people can't even do it for, for a few minutes. Uh, so that is the difference between Sri Lanka and Grand Canary. But Grand Canary is a really cool island. Uh, I was here for a few months last year and I wrote a blog post about it so you can check that out. But even though it's Spain, it's still much cheaper than mainland Spain or the rest of Europe. And the weather is warmer because geographically it's clo closer to Africa than it is to Europe. Uh, so I think it's a really nice place. I think you guys would like it, if, especially if you're from Europe. I would just hop on the next flight to Las Palmas, Gran Canary. I'm here for another week to go on the Nomad Cruise. Uh, and there's a ton of nomads in town for that. 222 nomads are going on this, this cruise. And I got to hang out with my buddy David Vu, who I'm actually staying with, who lives half a block that way. So really cool location. He lives right on the beach. Really amazing place for nomads. Uh, this is more of an expat or long-term nomad destination than someone just kind of coming in for a few days or a few weeks. Even though for Europeans, it's actually pretty easy to fly in just for a few days. Uh, but there's not you know, the whole backpacking scene like there would be in Southeast Asia or in Thailand. Uh, but uh, this month, I actually was really stressing about money. I don't know why. I think because I didn't work at all this, this month. I was mostly in Sri Lanka. I was surfing all day. I was traveling. I was kind of backpacking around. And my expenses were so low when I was in Sri Lanka. Uh, at most, I paid $14 a night for a hotel. Usually, it was actually a lot less. Uh, and food is so cheap there. Everything is so cheap. But then at the end of the month, I decided to splurge on a business class flight from Sri Lanka to Gran Canary, mainly because the other flights, uh, the cheaper ones, were going to be with three layovers. and. It takes so long. It would, it would have taken two days and I would have been so exhausted going from airport to airport to airport. So I found a Swiss air flight that had just one layover. And for a thousand dollars more, I could fly business class. And it was these really nice seats. So I ended up doing it. Uh, there's a review of Swiss slash Edelweiss uh, 
on my YouTube channel as well as my blog on what it was actually like, but I was actually honestly stressing about how much money I spent on this flight because I could have saved a thousand dollars by not flying business class or even saved even more if I just took the long layovers. You know, I could have had a flight for as low as four hundred fifty dollars, but I would have had three or even four layovers. So I was worried, especially because I wasn't working this much and making that much money. And I hated that feeling. And actually, if you read this month's blog post, this month's inquiry report, you'll feel kind of how much I was stressing about it. And then I got to the section about how much money I actually made this month. And it was really funny because I didn't know how much I made until I started writing um, this month's income report. That's when I paused. I sat down to my county for the month and I realized I made... $1,000 $1,000 more than I did last month. I made $6,335 in profit for this month. And actually, one of our dropshipping stores made over $10,000 in sales. So I actually made more this month than I did last month when I was actually working. And it's, that's the funny thing about online business and passive income is you get paid for things that you did in the past and not what you did recently. So uh, after seeing that number, I realized, I don't know why I'm stressing. It's only 1000 bucks. I can remake that up. And I worked so hard for it in the past that it's okay to spend that, especially if it's, you know, a little bit less stressful on my body and my mind flying almost direct in business class than taking four really crappy small flights. Uh, So this month uh, I made money through the dropshipping stores, through a lot of uh, random passive income sources, things like my Udemy courses, my um, books on Amazon, things like that, but also my investments. So I sold my dropshipping stores about two years ago now, and I invested all that money into things like index funds, to Pure Street, which is like peer-to-peer lending, and I make dividends from it and interest income. So this month, I got, you know, the stocks at self grew in value, which I don't count because I didn't cash out on it yet, but dividends, which actually goes basically into my pocket, that I do count, as well as the interest I collected on Pure Street. So lots of lessons I learned this month. I would say biggest lesson learned is as long as you're working hard at some point, don't worry about how much you're spending or making this particular month as long as justified. Don't go so crazy with your money. Like, you know, don't go out and just blow money, especially if you haven't worked for it. But at the same time, it's okay to take a break sometimes and not stress so much. The universe kind of works in a funny way where as long as you create value and you put, you put in the work, you'll end up being okay with it. And I, and I really believe that the fact that I stressed about spending an extra thousand dollars so much all like last couple of weeks, and then today logging in, seeing that I actually made a thousand dollars more is the universe telling me, Johnny, don't worry so much about it. Just enjoy yourself. But now this is the question is, do I want to work even more so I can buy these business class flights and not even stress at all about it? Be like, you know what? $4,000. It's fine. I'll make that up in a few days. Uh, like I did when I was running my job stream source full time and really crushing, you know, online business hard. Or do I want to just live cheaply and just not even worry about these expenses in the first place? Maybe I'll be a surf bum. Let me know what you would do. If you like these updates, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you would do in my situation and what you're doing as well. Uh, hope I, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video, maybe here in Grand Canary, maybe in Sri Lanka, maybe somewhere else in Europe. See you guys.